Hey Canceristas, it's Anne from A Doctor I Hate Pink. Today, let's talk MAGA. What is a MAGA? Well, anybody who is put on Herceptin needs to have their heart checked every three to four months. Now, it is a, always a good idea when you are given a medication to check the packaging. Now, you're not going to be handed this kind of medication, but if you go online, there is a package insert posted. Every drug company has to do that. And there's a section for doctors and a section for patients. Read the patient section. Read the doctor section. Um, it'll be a lot more technical, but you can learn to do it. I did. But at the very least, read the patient section. You'll find out what the side effects are, how rare they are. You'll find out if there's anything else that needs to be done while you're taking this drug. While you're taking Herceptin and any of the derivatives like Progetta, you need to have your heart monitored. It can be done two ways, either with an echocardiogram or with a MUGA. I have always had a MUGA, so I'm going to describe what that's like to you. A MUGA is a procedure in which you will go in typically to a radiologist's um, office. I suppose it can be done in a hospital setting but it's an outpatient procedure. You will go in and they will withdraw some blood from your arm and they mix it up with a radioactive isotope. While you're waiting, which takes about 20 minutes, the mixture bakes. Then you're called back in and um, they inject it back into you. You go into a very cold room. Those rooms are also always icy, but they'll give you hopefully nice warm blankets. I want one of those blanket things for my house. They're so wonderful. But anyway, you'll, you'll be put on one of those scanning machines. It's not scary. It's not enclosed like an MRI. It doesn't make loud noises. Um, it does go over your face, but it's not well, I'm not scared by any of them, but I don't think that most people are scared by this. So anyway, you're under this machine for about 20 minutes, and it measures your heart, uh, what's called the LVEF, left ventricular eject ejection fraction. And it shows how well your heart is functioning on these drugs. You do this every three to four months, like I said, uh, especially if you're on an, a, a chemo drug called adriamycin. The combination of adriamycin and Herceptin has been known to cause heart problems, so you really do need to be aware of it. Your doctor will probably know, but they get busy. Sometimes they forget these things, believe it or not, and it's not even evil of them. Now, what happens if your LVEF goes down? If it goes under a certain level, which I believe is 50, you have to be discontinued from your drugs. That's very scary, but it almost always recovers. I've never heard of anybody not recovering from it. I'm sure they're out there and I'm sure you'll tell me if you're one of them, but almost everybody recovers. So it, what it is will be a break in your drugs. A break in the drugs can be very terrifying when you have cancer and you know these are the drugs that are between you and death, but it isn't really always that way and a little break can't, won't hurt you. It's better to be on the drugs and of course always keep your schedule, but you know, you have to protect your heart too. You're going to live a long time after cancer, so you want to have a functioning heart. Um, Anyway, a MUGA is nothing to be scared about. I don't know the echo procedure, so I can't help you with that. Uh, I don't think that it's any scarier or more invasive than the MUGA. Um, I've had so many MUGAs because I've been on Herceptin for four and a half years that I know my techs, and hi out there. And they're, they're wonderful and so kind and, you know, caring and... and it's just, it's not a bad experience. So hopefully it'll be the same for you. Okay, bye.